Hey everybody, it's Wilbits. We're playing Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Spirit Justice. Final trial. And it's heating up. Talk about some really close shaves. Well, you can't get a closer shave than he Headsman's brand blades. That's right, Headsman's. The axe that'll cut off your favorite character's heads. Ask Ned Stark, that's for sure. The trial's not even over yet, and I'm already exhausted. It's a good thing that nobody's just pile plowing straight through. Still, you were able to fight back the queen herself in there. Well, maybe with Miss Faye's help, I won't have to keep on playing her game much longer. Speaking of which... I guess it's a little late to be asking, but how's Maya doing? Is she still, like, in a coma? Or... I know she's exhausted, because she was kidnapped. You think she's well enough to testify, Mr. Wright? Please! She slept all day yesterday out of exhaustion, apparently. Huh. But that's all it was, so she should be okay. Bobbed head! Horn head! My two least favorite heads! Oh, hello, your benevolence. Princess Rafa, you were really impressive in there. I am the royal priestess Rafa Padma Kurain. Hi, Rafa Padma Kurain. And I am prepared to face my father's death. This is the most intense AA meeting ever. Despite your mother's opposition, you stood your ground. And in doing so, you fulfilled your duty as the royal priestess. It, it was. It was all thanks to you and your friends. Your belief in me gave me the courage to follow my path. So, um, I... You have my gratitude. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I know I shall thank you with a gift. What would you like? A cow? A horse? Or perhaps I shall reward your efforts with a royal shoulder massage. What is a... What is a royal shoulder massage? And how is it different than a normal one? Oh, uh, that's okay, your benevolence. Your gratitude is more than enough. Thanks. I thought you Americans liked massages. What is this? What is, what is this stereotype? My technique was highly praised by my father. I'll have you know. Hey, you lawyers. Where's the accused? Huh? Dirk? That's a good question. Is Dirk missing? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Nothing suspicious. I blew a big time, AJ. That's. Shut up, you! Uh, what's going on? The scoundrel tried to escape with the accused. What? We were able to nab him, but the accused is nowhere to be found. Where are you hiding him, you miscreant? I keep telling you, I got no idea where he went. I mean, yeah, we booked it together, but I lost track of him after that. So, so Dirk's on the lamb now? Probably. But who knows? He vanished in the blink of an eye. Vanished? You want to know something, AJ? Dirk said to me, I can't put Amara in danger. I have to set her free before it's too late. What? Don't tell me he's gone to rescue her. But that's what I am telling you. It's why I helped him escape in the first place. Dads, do you realize what you've done? Uh, well, what's done is done. Still, why'd he choose to go rescue her now? Maybe he didn't want to die with any regrets or something. I don't know. You know, just in case he ended up on the chopping block. Why, Dirk? I thought you believed in me. Ah, don't be like that, AJ. He'll be back as soon as he frees Amara. You'll see. 
That's not the point, Dax. Listen, lawyer. You let us know immediately if the accused contacts you. The trial will now resume. See that you are ready. Wait, the trial's still on? Even without the defendant? Those were her eminence's orders, so you will return to the courtroom at once. Let's go, Apollo. All we can do is see where the next testimony leads. Okay. Trial time and we got no defendant. What could go wrong? Now then, let us resume the trial at hand. Um, your majesty, my client seems to have gone missing. Hmm, what do you think, your eminence? Should we proceed without the accused? Why not? My royal god is searching for him as we speak. They shall find him soon enough, for they would not dare to keep me waiting. Yes, but what about the law governing court proceedings? Uh, then I shall simply revise it. As ruling sovereign of Kurain, I proclaim the following. Should the accused be an enemy of the crown, they may be tried in absentia. Well, in that case, I guess there's no problem with proceeding. We'll just change the law to whatever you like. I guess it's a good thing these have been minor changes so far. Will the witness, Miss Maya Fay, please approach the stand? Hi, Maya. How, uh, how you been? Sorry to summon you like this, Maya. Uh. Getting dragged out of bed in the court is not exactly a fun wake-up call, Nick. I'm sorry, Miss Faye. It was my idea. You can be mad at me. Huh? And you are... I don't know you... Are you just... Who's this jerk? Oh, right. Uh, I'm Apollo Justice. <laughs> it's nice to finally meet you. I've seen all your Let's Plays and other things. <laughs> oh! So you're Apollo! Nick told me all about you. You're the new guy with the loud voice and a bit of an unreliable streak, right? Uh, unreliable? Huh? Uh, well, that was two years ago. You've come a long way since. So why was I called here anyway? Um, am I under arrest? Again? Huh? I guess no one's filled her in. Well, she has been asleep this entire time. Miss Fay, this is a trial for Dirk Sodmady, and you're here as a witness. What? D Dirk's been arrested? B but that's not exactly the reaction I was expecting. Miss Fay, you are suspected of playing a part in the murder of Justice Minister Inga. What? She was, like, tied up the whole time. Someone allegedly forced you to channel the minister to obfuscate the time of his murder. Can you force someone to channel stuff like that? At least, that is what the defense claims. Wait, what? Hold on, do you guys even know what spare channeling is? How could you, Apollo? How did you even reach that conclusion? S sorry, but it's the only way this whole case makes any sense. Your understandable anger at the defense aside, will you testify, Miss Fay? Yes, Your Majesty. Okay, channeling the minister. Um, I don't have any idea what's going on, but I know I didn't channel Minister Inga. I didn't even have the chance to do something like that. Besides, I'd never go quietly along with some criminal's plan. Though, I guess there are some things I'd go quietly along with. That's very vague of you. 
we're going to press all of those things. Hmm. It seems the witness doesn't believe she has ever channeled Justice Minister Inga. And if her words prove to be true, defense, your entire argument becomes moot. You do understand that, don't you? I yes, of course. Uh, it doesn't seem like Miss Faye is lying. Apollo, Maya was being awfully secretive about something just now. Then I guess I'd better dig a bit and try to get her to open up to me first. So now we can do the pressing wherein we actually get to know each other a little bit, Maya. Hi, I'm the secondary protagonist. I uh, was conceived as a potential replacement for the primary protagonist, but instead we're just partners now. I don't have any idea what's going on, but... You've been asleep ever since you were rescued from the tomb, correct? Mm-hmm. I was exhausted after being held captive for so long. That must have been terrible. Maya, Mendesaringa didn't do anything to you, did he? Oh no, it wasn't like that. On the contrary, I asked him for all sorts of things. Like what? Like, I'm really craving burgers and I'll die if I miss an episode of The Plume Punisher. Acting like a brat netted me a TV and even a few burgers from someplace. He was surprisingly nice to me. Huh? Um, are you sure we're talking about the same guy here? The kind of talk like the penguin? Had a big cigar? He may have loomed large, but he was unexpectedly easy to push around. I would know! Even though he's the one who was responsible for pushing those ex execution papers through? Oh, that approving execution was simply his preferred method of stress relief. Oh. Great. With a wife like her, he's probably really pushing them through out of fear. I'm beginning to see why he wanted to stage a coup. In any case, my time in captivity wasn't so bad, but of all the things that happened... I know I didn't channel Minister Inga. Hold it! Are you sure about that? Maybe you just don't remember channeling him. Don't remember? I may be 28, but I'm not senile, you know. Something's not right here. Miss Faye, you were confined to Amara's tomb the whole time. Is that correct? Um, yes, but I wasn't conscious the whole time. Okay, now let me ask you something. Did you ever see Nana in the tomb, dressed as Dirk? Huh? Is this some kind of joke? I think I'd remember if I saw something as crazy as that. Plus, I doubt anyone would carry out a crime like that right in front of a potential witness. I hate when he's right. Which is all the time, because it's his last name. I even have the chance to do something like that. Hold it! You didn't have a chance to channel him. Does channeling someone take a long time? Not really. Once you get the hang of it, it's pretty much instantaneous. But I was all tied up, literally. So there was no way for me to make the channeling mundra with my hands to do it. Right. I guess she really didn't channel Inga then. Maya, when mediums are done with a session, they can send the spirit back to the other world themselves, right? Sure, unless they're still in training. Amateurs can get possessed by spirits sometimes. But full-fledged mediums can stay in total control of a session. And they can send the deceased spirit away anytime they want. So, uh, I take it you can do that too, Miss Faye? Of course. It's a cinch for the new and improved Mystic Maya Faye, a spirit medium. That's strange. You seem like the same old childish Maya to me. I'll show you childish Nick! Besides, I'd never go quietly along with some criminal's plan. What if you didn't think they were a criminal? So you wouldn't channel spirits for unseemly purposes? Of course not! Spirit 
Shielding is my bread and butter. And I take a lot of pride in my work. It's like, would you use your legal skills to commit a crime, Apollo? Well, um, until finger pointing and objecting become deadly, I don't see how they can be used. Well, you're a regular Mr. Smarty Pants, just like Nick. Always oh, the ready with some sarcastic comeback. I think I'll save my many objections for after the trial. Yes, please. Anyway, I'd never go along with something like murder. Though, I guess there are some things I'd go quietly along with. Like what? It sounds to me like you're trying to hide something, Miss Faye. Didn't anyone teach you about respecting boundaries, Apollo? It's really rude to pry into a person's private affairs. Ah, s sorry. I didn't realize. Um... Wait, we're in a court of law. Yeah, I know. Then what was that? all that about me being rude? I'm just doing my job. So please, just tell me, what exactly are you hiding? Sorry, but uh, I promised Dirk I wouldn't say. You made a promise to Dirk? My Papa Dirk? Mm-hmm. Pretty big one. I think this is about all you're going to get out of her. Yeah. Enough! No witness is denying that she channeled any spirits. Further questioning is pointless. It appears your little fiction has been soundly exposed for what it is. You should listen to her, Apollo. I don't even know why you suspected me in the first place. I mean, you don't have any evidence of me channeling Minister Inga, do you? Oh, um... Evidence, huh? There's no point in even thinking about it, really. I don't use anything special to channel spirits, so there wouldn't be anything left behind. That's true. Just like when she channeled a high priest, all Maya needs is her own body. But you wouldn't have his outfit, because you gotta change into his clothes, because otherwise Minister Inga would be running around in a dapper pink dress. If the defense has no evidence to offer, I will have to end this cross-examination. What now? Even if she doesn't use any special items to do the channeling itself, you'd think there would be something to complete the deception. Is there any proof that Justice Minister Inga was channeled? I think yes. I'm gonna say you bet there is. You bet there is. Really? Well now. You're bluffing, I take it? I'll be fine. If we're right, then there must be some sort of proof to back us up. Time to do some serious thinking, Apollo Justice. Okay, we know that when Rafa saw her father, he wasn't dressed like Miss Faye, right? Right, because if he was, Rafa would have immediately known he was being channeled. So that means... He was dressed in his usual suit when Rafa saw him. Aha! Good thinking, Apollo. This might be the perfect angle to attack from. Alright, let's have an answer from the defense. What proof do you have that Miss Maya Faye channeled just as Minister Inga? Do we have a picture of his room? Because if we had a... Oh, is it the extra gemstone? Inga's button discovered in the ashes. They burned his outfit. There was a spare suit and an extra button, even though the real one... Mm, it's the button. That. Is that... A gemstone? Are you trying to bribe me, a judge? Because, no, let me see that. No, not good enough. We found this among the- We found this among the ashes of one of the tomb's incense burners. Does this gemstone ring any bells, your eminence? What? What was that doing in the tomb? Ah, so you do recognize it. But then, as his wife, how could you not recognize this gemstone button from your husband's jacket? Hmm? 
I don't get where you're going with this. Jailing Minister Inga alone wouldn't be enough to fool someone like Princess Rafa, especially if he were wearing your clothes. So you would have had to change into the minister's clothes before channeling him. Ah! Miss Fay, you used the minister's clothes as cover while going from his room to the tomb, where you burned them once you no longer needed them. What? Uh oh, she seems genuinely surprised by that, Apollo. Objection. Miss Fay? Yes? Do you know my husband's name? It was, um... Inge Karkul Krain, right? That is correct, in part. But there's more! Much more! Inga Karkul Hakoi Disnam Biani Laga Arana Ora Karain the Third. I didn't even get to read all of it. It was too hard. That is his true name. Could it be any longer? Princess Angelina Contesca Louisa Banana Fana Fofesca the Third. Due to its length, only a portion of it was ever made public. So, Miss Fay, did you know his true name? No. I, I mean, how could I? Precisely. Yet a media must know the face and true name of the one she seeks to channel. Ah! Uh, ah! So then, Miss Fay couldn't have channeled Minister Inga? That's what I've been saying this whole time. Why would I want to randomly channel some old guy I didn't know? I didn't like. Thanks to that last trial. I I can't believe this. Apollo, I really don't think Maya's lying. However, your line of reasoning still seems credible to me. I agree, but there's something tripping us up in the details. Somebody other than the queen or Maya has to know how to channel. That's the only thing that makes sense. Maybe we're working off of some wrong maybe we're working off some wrong assumptions again. <clears throat> Um, Apollo? I was thinking. Yes? Since I didn't channel Minister Inga, is it possible that someone else did? Someone else? But who else could it have been? I haven't thought that far yet. Such chatter is without merit. Let us move on, shall we? Erk. I don't care what Garan says, I'm gonna figure this out. If it wasn't Miss Faye, and the Queen has an alibi, then... Apollo, forget about who is capable of channeling spirits for a second. I should consider the circumstances around the channeling, right? Right. We know Rafa saw her father come running out of his private quarters. If he was being channeled at the time, who could it have been? It had to have been someone who was in Inga's private quarters. I think Nana has to be able to channel, right? Well, I'm waiting, Defense, and you know how much I despise waiting. Yes, but there is someone else besides Miss Fay who could have channeled Minister Inga. There's just one more person, and they were in Inga's private quarters. That person is our only hope now. So the defense believes there was another. Let's have your very serious answer then. With pleasure. Oh, it's very serious. It's three bars serious. Horned devil. Who could have channeled Minister Inga? Man, everything. Is she on the thing? She is on the thing. Right at the very end. Everything's pointing at Nana. Rape is attendant. She disappeared all of a sudden after Minister Inga's death. That's just, it's time. It's time to just talk about Nana. Nana? Your eminence said it yourself. That's right. Nana never did go into the tomb that day. Instead, she entered my husband's private quarters. How do you know? It's quite simple. 
Shoe prints were discovered in Inga's private quarters. Shoe prints that belong to Nana. And then there's her benevolence's statement. She said that Nana disappeared right after she entered Minister Inga's private quarters. The room from which Minister Inga himself came running out of not long afterwards. You are not seriously suggesting. It's the only thing that makes sense. Nana channeled Minister Inga and left his private quarters thereafter. That's why no one has seen her since. And why only the minister's shoe prints were found outside his residence. Ah! No way! That's gotta be it. Nana must have somehow channeled the minister. Nana! All of the circumstantial evidence has fallen into place. You can't ignore it anymore. You can't claim Nana isn't connected to this case somehow. In light of this, the defense calls Nana to the stand if we know where she is or isn't dead already. Hmm. Where are your evidence? Very well then. Let us call Nina to testify. Yes! Now we can finally crack this case wide open! Let us adjourn while the witness is summoned. There is no need. Nina is in the waiting lobby. She is? Oh. What? Nina's here? I thought she'd gone missing. It seems she was feeling unwell and simply wished to rest undisturbed. But her concern for Rafa brought her here today. She took time off without Rafa's knowledge or consent? I'm betting there's more to her disappearing act than meets the eye, Apollo. 